When canine officer Matthew Zarella heard of a dog said to be euthanized in a shelter, after several failed attempts at adoption, it was as though an inner voice told him to act. Zarella was informed how the dog was extremely energetic and hyperactive. She'd been described as impossible and not adoptable. Yet Zarella had a feeling there was something special about the dog, so he decided to gamble and take a closer look. It didn't take long for his suspicions to be proved correct. As you watch how the story unfolds, you'll quickly understand why. Dog trainer Patricia Inman has been working for a long time with abandoned, disabled, and problem dogs. She's well-educated in canines and has been there for a good many dogs who otherwise had no hope. However, Ruby would prove to be a tricky case. Patricia tried tirelessly to train and calm the unhappy dog, but things didn't go well. The idea was to get Ruby to a point where she was stable enough to be adopted and thereby take her place in a loving home. It was small wonder then that she was heartbroken when she realized no one wanted to adopt the dog. As a result, Ruby was set to be put down. In fact, Ruby was mere hours from being euthanized when help came from an unexpected source. Patricia called the Rhode Island police force in order to get through to her friend, Matthew Zarella. Patricia asked him to adopt the dog, but she could have never been prepared for the chain of events that would follow. When Zarella stopped by at the dog shelter, he immediately fell in love with Ruby. Despite the fact the dog was energetic and promised, he realized she was intelligent. He knew a person who would love to take care of such a dog. Zarella immediately contacted his colleague and friend Daniel O'Neill and made an offer he couldn't refuse. O'Neill happened to be a genuine dog lover who longed for a four-legged partner. Zarella offered O'Neill Ruby to keep as his own and, of course, he was pleased to accept. O'Neill spent the next four months training the impossible dog to bring her up to standard. They quickly became inseparable. Not only did he succeed in the training, but it soon became apparent that Ruby was ready to move on to bigger things. Four years after becoming a team, Ruby and O'Neill ran into trouble. A serious situation unfolded. The whole police district was looking for a missing teenager. A search was conducted in a large woodland area, with several dog patrols participating in the hunt for the lost team. Then, while out searching, Ruby pulled away and suddenly began to bark. We were one and a half miles out in the woods when Ruby suddenly ran away, Daniel recalls. The police followed her lead and got a shock when they found Ruby standing next to the missing teenager. The boy was seriously injured and in need of urgent medical care. He was taken to the hospital to make his recovery and Ruby was hailed as a hero. But the story doesn't end there. O'Neill was oblivious to it at the time, but Ruby and the injured boy shared a deeper bond. When O'Neill finally realized who the teen was, it felt like a stone dropping in his stomach. In connection with the police search, O'Neill questioned the victim's mother. It soon transpired that the boy's mom was in fact Patricia Inman. Patricia revealed that she had taken care of Ruby before she joined Daniel, obviously a big surprise for all involved. It's difficult to say for sure, but perhaps this was Ruby's way of saying thanks to Patricia, who took care of her when she needed it most and effectively saved her life. Well, that's what I choose to believe anyway. Ruby was handed a second chance at life thanks to Patricia's actions. She ended up returning the favor in the only way she could. When amazing and dedicated animal lovers are involved, miracles can and will happen. Like, subscribe, and share if you agree.